Hey, good morning YouTube. This is the first dirt for uh, 2024. And uh, I don't know whether the road will be okay, but we'll find out. I'm still on my Shinko 705, so if this gets um, kind of slick mud on top of the hard pack road, I'm not going to venture. Because I've had it before with the Shinko 705s and dirt. They're not the best of friends. Yeah, I'm already slipping all over the place. And this isn't, uh, this is pretty good. In the sunny sections, I'll be, uh, I'll be golden. So there's a site, eh? That's pretty cool. It's called Layer Cake Mountain. For obvious reasons. And doesn't Lucy look pretty? She almost looks clean. I, uh, yeah, I went up the road ways. Well, fair ways. And uh, I turned around because it got really, really slick in the shadow sections and these tires, they're not so good at that. And the first ride of the, uh, of the year on dirt, I didn't have great experiences on dirt with those tires last year. So, I'm a little cautious, but perhaps that's a good thing. Yeah, so I'm going to stick to the paved roads for now. See how it goes. I'm still annoyed about the front tire, the 705. It hops a lot. And I figured at first it was out around. And, well, I know it, it's, it's about 5 millimeters out vertically, but the rim is true. So that's why I thought the tire was out around. Someone mentioned to me yesterday that they had the same issue with their Shinko 705 on the front. Uh, same type of bike as this. And he figured in his case it was because it's a uh, tubeless tire with a tube stuffed in it. And I thought, you know what, maybe that's got something to do with it. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think that would do it? cause a hop because it's kind of hard to imagine a tire actually being out around being that they're made in in molds I mean the mold can't change and that's out by quite a bit five millimeters like for those not conversant with metric that's almost a quarter of an inch and that's a lot that's a pretty noticeable hop in the front end and like I say, it bugs me. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do about that. I might get a different front tire or maybe sell the uh, 705s and just get rid of them and put on some Kenda K270s or something like that. Where I can have a, lo a lot more uh, traction on dirt and still be okay on the road. Those Kenda K270s, they're good on the road, except when you're leaned over in uh, a fast bend. They get a little squirrely. Side knobs are a little soft. Well, all the knobs are a little soft on those. Uh, softer compound tire. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm considering my options. 
at the start of this new year. Someone mentioned on a comment on a video I did yesterday, riding down a lovely road by the lake on my CB650F. And uh, his comment was, I'm glad you didn't sell the 650F. And yeah, so am I because I know I was considering it. I actually had it up for sale. But um, I backed out of it and so glad I did. I love that bike. It's so nice. So smooth. I like the inline four character. So I reckon I'll keep it for a long time. Well, I haven't done any of those this year either. Figure eights in two parking spots. Always good to keep in practice. Not that that was much of a practice. What was that? Two minutes. But better than nothing. Am I right? So do you guys uh, do that? Do you guys go to a parking lot every now and again and have some fun doing stuff like that? I enjoy it. I don't do it a lot, but uh, I find it's useful. Of course, on a bike like this, it's probably easier than on a lot of bikes, but Nevertheless, I do it on the 650 as well. So what bike do you guys, put it down in the comment, do you guys keep long term? What kind of, what kind of bike do you fall in love with and uh, you're loyal to? where you don't want to sell it and change it for something new and shiny. Put it down in the comments. I'd be interested to know. That's always a welcome sight. I love that lake. And I wish that this road was about 100 kilometers long. It's kind of short, however.
goodness, everyone's out having coffee. Yeah, nice day. Anyway, folks, I'm uh, I'm heading home. So uh, you ride safe. Take care. Have fun, and I will see you on another one.